Welcome to episode one, Learn English with Dr. Sewell. So today we're going to look at articles. So we have a, an, and the. Those are the three main articles that we tend to have problem with in English. So we're going to look at how to use them, when to use them, and how to use them correctly. So we have a and an. Both a and an are singular. However, a you use in front of a count noun and it cannot be used before uncountable or plural nouns. So for example, you can say a bird, a cat, a book, meaning one bird, one cat, one book. You cannot use a if it's a plural noun. So you could not say a birds or a cats or a books. Now, an is similar, but we use an with vowel sound words. So for example, we have an apple, an egg, an orange. You cannot say an apples or an eggs or an oranges. Now, in case you might forget what vowels are, let's review them real quick. So we have vowels there, A, E, I, O, and U. There are five vowels in the English language. Going back to vowel sound words, we have an apple. So apple begins with A, which is also a vowel, but it's not just the vowel, it's the vowel sound. Umbrella is also another example, begins with U, but it also has the vowel sound. Now our, which is referring to the time, our begins with H. H is a consonant. It's not a vowel, but the pronunciation of the word our has a vowel sound. Therefore, we use an. On the other hand, we have university. University begins with a vowel, but we cannot say an university because the pronunciation of university is not a vowel sound. If it were a vowel sound, we would say university. So that is why we use a with university even though it begins with u, which is a vowel. Now, we mentioned in the beginning the. So we use the when we want to be specific about something. For example, if we want to be specific about a book, we can say the book that I read was very interesting or the books that I read were very interesting. Now, when you're talking about locations, we use the with specific locations. Now, we're going to look at when to use it and when not to use it. So let's take, for example, group of islands. Bahamas is a group of islands, so we say the Bahamas. Jamaica, even though it's in the Caribbean as well, it's not a group of islands. It's actually one island, so you can't say the Jamaica. You only say Jamaica. United States, it's made up of a group of states, so you say the United States. So whenever you have countries that have a group of islands, group of states, republic, or kingdom, we use the. Let's recap a minute with all three. So a, we use in singular form, like one book, one pen, one cat, a cat, a book, a pen. So it's used in front of a singular count noun. We do not use a before uncountable or plural nouns. We use a if the noun starts with a consonant sound. So for example, a B, C, D, G, H, K, those are all examples of consonants. So if the word starts with a consonant sound, then we use a or a. An is used in front of a singular count nouns which are not specific. So, we don't use an before uncountable or plural nouns either. If the noun starts with a vowel sound, though, we use an, like a, e, i, o, n, u, those are all the vowels, and we use an before those nouns. Now, the, we use it in front of all nouns. Doesn't matter if it's singular or plural, we can use it. When we're talking about specific places, we have to follow the rules. We use the with countries that have group of islands, group of states, republic, or kingdom. So the difference between a, an, and the is clearly stated here. 
if you're trying to be specific, if you're trying to talk about one thing, you choose between a uh and an. And if you're trying to be specific and also to talk about specific regions, specific countries, then we use the. I hope this was helpful and we'll recap again in episode two. If you like the content or if you have content that you'd like to hear, please make the suggestions below and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in episode two.